Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be an adventure, drama, and sci-fi movie from 2023 called 65. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Mills, a spaceship driver from the planet Samaris, spends a little time with his wife Aaliyah and his sick daughter Naveen before he goes on a long two-year trip in space. Naveen needs a costly medical treatment and Mills plans to pay for it with the money he'll make from this trip, which is three times what he usually gets paid. He teaches Naveen to whistle and tries to explain his long trip, but she already knows and isn't happy. Mills reassures her he's doing it for her and hugs her before leaving. Towards the end of his space journey, Mills is heading back to Samaras with people sleeping in special sleep pods on his ship. Suddenly, he runs into an unexpected group of asteroids. Despite his efforts to avoid them, the ship gets badly damaged and he has to make an emergency landing on the closest planet. The ship breaks in two, with one part landing on a mountain and the other in a swamp. Mills wakes up, gets ready with his energy gun, and steps into the swamp. He notices a large dinosaur-like creature in the water as he looks for any survivors. He then finds out he can breathe the air and takes off his helmet. When he checks the ship for its location, the ship's computer can't tell him where he is. Mills sends a message out saying all the passengers didn't make it and help isn't needed. To ask for rescue, he steps outside and thinks about ending his life but then remembers his daughter and decides against it. He goes back in and watches a video she sent him. Soon the ship picks up a signal that another survivor is nearby. He ventures into the forest and finds a young girl in a sleep pod. He breaks it open, takes her out, and carries her back to the ship. On the way, he spots a giant footprint that looks like it was made by a dinosaur. It turns out they're on Earth from 65 million years ago when dinosaurs ruled. The next day, he leaves the girl sleeping and goes to look for an escape pod from the ship. He stumbles upon a giant dinosaur skeleton and, using a tracking device, learns that an escape pod is 50 kilometers away. A T-Rex attacks him, but he manages to defeat it. He then notices the little girl has been following him. After a chase, they both tumble down a hill and end up near a dead dinosaur. They hide as a massive dinosaur walks by. Back at the ship, Mills tries to learn the girl's name, but she doesn't respond. He finds a booklet and learns her name is Koa. He explains he's the ship's pilot and they need to reach an escape pond on the mountain to leave the planet. She finally speaks, but in a language he doesn't understand. They try to communicate through drawings. He draws a mountain to show where they need to go, and she draws her family. He suggests her family might be at the mountains to persuade her to go. He sends out a message saying he found a child survivor, but her parents are gone, and they're heading to the escape pod, asking for a rescue. While sending out his call for help, Koa is watching heartfelt videos from Mills' sick daughter. Mills interrupts, turns off the video, and says it's time to go. He gathers everything they need for the trip and explains to Koa that they must be quiet and keep going. They see birds flying, but one gets caught by a bigger predator from above. As they move on, they find a baby dinosaur stuck in the mud. Koa wants to help it despite Mills' warnings. She can't do it alone, so Mills helps her, and the dinosaur walks off, only to be attacked by young raptors while Mills and a scared Koa hide. They take a short break by a river before continuing. Koa convinces Mills to put flowers in his hair. The dragon device stops working, so Mills climbs a tree to fix it, but falls and hurts his shoulder. While trying to fix his shoulder, dangerous dinosaurs come close. With Koa's help, he gets his shoulder back in place and then starts defending them with his gun, telling Koa to run. Koa hides behind a fallen tree. When two dinosaurs find her, Mills saves her just in time. Another dinosaur tries to take Koa away, but Mills scares it off by shooting in the air, not wanting to hit Koa. Koa is upset and sits crying by a rock. Mills tries to get her to move on, but she doesn't want to. He waits until she's ready, then whistles to catch her attention and they start moving again. They decide to stay overnight at a cave entrance. Using his gadget, Mills looks at the sky and also sees a big group of asteroids but doesn't worry about it. Koa gives him a recording of his daughter, which upsets him, but he takes it and tells her to sleep. He plays the recording, creating a hologram of Naveen, making Koa smile. Hologram makes Mills cry as he remembers his daughter has died, recalling his wife saying she passed away peacefully. Meanwhile, the asteroids seem to be moving closer to Earth. As they sleep, the sensors go off, detecting something strange. Mills checks on Koa and sees a creature in her mouth, which he manages to remove and kill. The sensors go off more urgently, and a huge dinosaur appears at the cave's entrance. Mills shoots at it, but it keeps coming. 
They run deeper into the cave but fall into a pit with no visible exit. Mills finds a small gap above but can't open it wider without tools. Cole becomes scared and mentions family, mountain, and move. Mills admits he lied about her family being alive but she doesn't understand. Remembering he has grenades, he uses one to open the gap. He gives Koa a grenade for protection and they start to climb out. The path collapses, sending Mills back down. Distraught, he calls for Koa, fearing the worst, but she whistles back, letting him know she's safe. Koa makes it out of the cave and Mills looks for another way out. He's attacked by a dinosaur living in the cave but manages to defeat it. When he gets out, he sees asteroids flying towards the planet. Koa is then attacked by a dinosaur but Mills hears her screams and runs to help. He ends up stuck in quicksand, but Koa traps the attacking dinosaur in a tree log and uses a grenade to kill it. As Mills sinks, he calls for Koa, who finds him and pulls him out using a tree branch. He thanks her with a hug and shows her the approaching asteroids. They keep going and reach a rocky part of the mountain, which they climb using a rope. They find the other part of their ship and Mills is relieved to see the escape pod works fine and help is coming. Koa looks for her family but realizes they're gone, which upsets her. They get into the escape pod to leave but an asteroid hits, causing the pod to tumble down the mountain. The pod ends up upside down and they're knocked out. Koa wakes up, calls for Mills, who doesn't answer and tries to launch the pod but it won't because it's flipped over. Mills wakes up just as a dinosaur is about to attack. The dinosaur starts tearing the ship apart to reach them. Mills gets out of his seat and grabs his weapon outside the pod. When he tries to shoot, the gun doesn't work. Another dinosaur shows up and Mills hides under a part of the ship to fix his gun. The dinosaurs look for him but Mills gets his gun working again. Just as he's about to shoot, Koa distracts the dinosaur with a hologram of Naveen. When one dinosaur tries to attack the hologram, Mills shoots it dead. The other dinosaur then targets Koa but accidentally fixes the escape pod's position. Mills shoots this dinosaur until he runs out of ammo and kills it. However, the dinosaur from the cave appears. Mills yells for Koa to launch the pod and distracts the dinosaur by running. He leads it to a geyser, which erupts and injures the dinosaur. As Mills lies on the ground, Koa stabs the dinosaur in the eye with a bone and the geyser erupts again, killing the dinosaur. As asteroids start hitting the planet, they rush back to the pod and manage to launch just before a massive asteroid hits, destroying all life below. Safely in space, Mills thinks about his daughter. Akoa offers him comfort as they head back to their planet, Samaris. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.